So in this video, I'm really gonna be showing you how the mixer works. With what I show you, you'll have the tools that you need to get inside of FL Studio and create your own great mix. These basic ideas will take you from not knowing how to do anything inside of the mixer to feeling comfortable putting together a mix, knowing how to navigate your way around the mixer and create the next playlist hit. I'll show you the tools that professionals use to get a better sounding vocal mix, as well as some shortcuts that will speed up getting to a better mix. Let's jump in. So I've already done some basic mixing on the main vocal and I want to borrow some of the things that I've done from the main vocal and use that on some of the background vocals. So the major thing that I'm gonna bring over is the EQ setting that I use for my main vocal. I'm gonna bring that and paste that into each one of the background vocals. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna click on the parametric EQ that was loaded up on that first vocal. And then I'm just gonna use this drop down where it says save preset and it has this little icon beside it. I'm gonna drag and drop it onto that background vocal. And I'm gonna do the same thing, just down the line. And so now I can go in and tweak each one of those individually and just get them to sound a little bit better based on what I need for each one. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to actually borrow the compression from that first vocal. I'm gonna take that same compressor and then I'm gonna copy it into each one of the background vocals as well. So the next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is actually combine all of those background vocals into one channel so that you can do some extra things on top of that channel. Before we talk buses and sends, I need to show you a little bit about how the mixer is set up and how it works. So you have the master channel that's over on the very far left side of the mixer. And then you have all these individual tracks that are a part of the rest of the mixer and they're labeled as insert one, two, three, all the way up to 125. Each one of those inserts by default is routed to the master channel automatically. So what that means is anything that you put in that insert will go through that insert channel and out to the master channel. So when you start looking at buses and sends, you're changing where that channel goes to before it goes to the master, or you're changing where it goes altogether. So let me explain this a little bit better. So with a bus, you can think of it as a collection of things. So let's take drums for instance. Let's say you have a kick in one channel, a snare in another channel, a hi-hat and some toms, and they're all individually set up to go to the master channel. But if we create a bus, we can send the kick, the snare, the hi-hat, and the toms. We can send those all to one channel, this drum bus. And instead of each one of those individual channels going to the master channel by itself, they all go to the bus first and don't go to the master channel. And then the actual drum bus takes them over to the master channel. So it's kind of like getting into a vehicle together and that vehicle together is going to take you to the destination. So the master channel is being the destination, the end point, the place that you're trying to get to and the bus helps you get there. So let me show you really quickly how to create this bus or how to set up a bus. So I have this small section that we're getting ready to work on, which is part of the chorus for a song. So it has lead vocal and then it has a couple of background vocals. So this is what they sound like right now, and they're individually playing. So if I look at the main vocal, it's going into the master track, and then each one of those other background vocals is also going into the master track right now. But what I wanna do is create the bus so I can send all of those vocals, those background vocals to one channel together as a group. So here's what the chorus sounds like. All right, so I'm gonna select all of those background vocals. So I'm holding down shift and control and then left clicking each one of those tracks that I want to create the bus with. So now that they're all highlighted together as a group, I'm gonna come over here to this channel 41 and I'm gonna go down to where this little arrow is at and I'm gonna right click on that arrow and I'm gonna say route to this track only. And what you'll see as I click through each one of these background vocals is it's no longer routed out to the master track, it's only routed out to this channel 41. 
And then I'm gonna borrow the settings that I use for the other group of background vocals and do the same thing on this bus of background vocals as well. So I'm gonna right click on it, click on file, come over here to the save mixer state as, mixer track state as. I'm gonna grab that, drag, and I'm gonna left click and drag that and drop it onto channel 41. And you'll see that it dropped all the same effects that I had on that other channel to this channel. So then I could come in here and name this BGV for background vocals, and I'm gonna call it bus. And so now we've created a bus that has this vocal, this vocal, this vocal, and this vocal all routed to this track, but not routed out to the master track. It's only this track that's routed out to the master now. So the sins are just a little bit different. They're kind of like the effects, the extra things that we're adding to the song. And they're put in separate tracks by themselves. So things like reverb or delays or some other special effect, it's things that add to what's already there. So let's take a main vocal, for example. I'm gonna do a lot of mixing on that vocal over here to get it to sound really crisp and clear. But then I also might wanna put on things like reverb and delay and other things to add to it. So I'm gonna send that main vocal to the master channel like it's already routed, but then I also want to add in some effects. And how this works is there is a way to send like a copy of that main vocal to this delay channel or to that reverb channel as much or as little as I want to get an effect that then adds to what the vocal is already doing. And that comes back out in the master channel. So I'm gonna come over here to the last channel I scrolled over using my mouse wheel. I'm gonna right click on channel 125 and I'm gonna say dock to the right. I'm gonna do the same thing for channel 124. And so now I have these two channels that are sitting here on this right side. And so I'm gonna make the first one be a delay. So I'm just going to add in a delay here. We'll just use the Fruity Delay 3. And then I'm going to select the reverb. So Fruity Reverb 2 for the second send track. So the main vocal by default, just like every other normal mixer track is being sent out to the master channel. But then I also set up some sends and I am sending a copy of that main vocal out to both the delay and the reverb. So an important thing that I forgot to show you is actually how you get that copy of the vocal over to the send track like the delay or the reverb. So this is how you do it. You'll click on the track that you want to put the effects on and what you're gonna do is you're going to left click on those little arrows that are at the bottom and you'll see these green dials kind of appear with the volume knob that's up almost to like 75% or whatever. Once you've clicked that button, you've actually sent that copy over to the effect. And now you just have to dial that effect in for how much effect you actually want in your mix. And I'm telling FL Studio how much of it I wanna send out there by using these knobs here. And I'll let you hear just the main vocal by itself and I'll show you the, each of those plugins. So I'm gonna turn this one all the way down, which is the reverb. And so right now, all you're gonna hear is the main vocal with some instruments behind it and a couple and the delay, the effect that's on it. And so a lot of times when I'm mixing a vocal, I won't use a ton on those things. I'll just subtly push in the send. So you'll see that I brought this send level down. So you can tell how much of that vocal you're sending to the reverb and the delay by the knobs here. So as you're turning this knob, if you look up in this top left part of the FL Studio window, it'll tell you what percentage you're sending to it. So if I scroll this thing up and down, you'll see right now it's at 20, 31%, 32, 33, 34. So I had it around 33, 34% for that delay. And then for the reverb, I sent a lot more. So I was sending around, uh, I think about 60% of the main vocal to that send as well. So let me let you hear that main vocal with the reverb on it. So this is the reverb and the main vocal and a couple instruments behind it. So you can hear that kind of tail out. You know, let me show it to you with a lot more effect on it so you can hear what it's doing. So 
I, I turned that back down to about 50% just to show you guys what that effect was doing. And then I'll add in the delay as well. So these are the sends. So the main vocal is going to the master track like it's supposed to, but then it's also going to the delay and to the reverb to add a little bit of extra stuff to the voice to make it sound a little bit more full. And then here's what the rest of the instruments and the background vocals in there as well. I know that this can all seem really complicated and if you're really frustrated with vocal production and you just want a cheat sheet that'll help guide you through the process of mixing your vocals then check the link in the description below where you can download a free cheat sheet guide for starting a vocal mix on your very next song. And make sure to check out this next video where I'll walk you through a basic mix with just two simple plugins and I will see you in the next round.